Good morning, welcome back to Breakfast Television, quarter to seven, and I got good news, and I got good news. The good news is our friend Marilyn Smith is back. The good news is that we're eating cookies for breakfast. Yes. You're gonna make a cookie breakfast coming up. I'm gonna do an equivalent of a bowl of cereal that you can grab and go and go out the door in a little baggie, and you know you didn't do anything bad. So this is gonna be good for me. That's gonna be good for you. Particularly heart healthy. Heart healthy totally, uses canola oil and whole grains. And I get everything I need right there and then we're all set. You're all set to go. All right, it's already in our cookbook, we're coming up on BT, we're gonna make that cookie and then we're gonna make a cookie cookie as well. Your ginger snaps are fantastic, by the way. A cookie cookie. A cookie cookie. <laughs> but now let's check out weather conditions. Here's Sean, Sean, Greg, Greg. Thanks, Jeremy. Good morning. Right now in Winnipeg, it's still minus four. And if we take a look at our Almanac page, we can actually see that the normal high for this time of year is minus four. So we are seasonal for this time of year and exactly where we need to be. The record high came in at five in 1977. And the sun is expected to set, is to set tonight at 621. Now, it is pretty mild here in Winnipeg, but it doesn't definitely beat these temperatures here. If we take a look at our destination weather forecast, Phoenix, a high of 16, to see some showers this afternoon. Orlando, a high of 23. Gorgeous temperatures so far. Las Vegas, 14 with some rainfall there. And in Montego Bay, 24 with a mix of sun and cloud. Now, these are the places you definitely want to book if you need a hot destination. And a reminder that destination weather is brought to you by WestJet, offering nonstop flights to great sunny destinations, including Phoenix, Orlando, and Cancun. Book your flights or vacation package today at WestJet.com. On your drive, just a reminder that they, there is a residential parking ban in effect. That will uh, take place as of 7 a.m. this morning. So to find out your snow zone, visit knowyourzone.ca. Your full weather traffic details throughout the morning on BT. Now let's check back in with Jeremy John. Thank you very much, Sean. Having way too much fun with our friend Marilyn Smith. She is a best-selling cookbook author, and she's showing us that it's okay to have cookies for breakfast if you make them right. If you make them right, right. So we're going to start off with uh, all our dry ingredients, and some of the things in the dry ingredients are oats, and oats are really good for lowering your cholesterol. Okay. But there's three different kinds of oats. So there's steel-cut oats. Okay. Okay, and then the next one is, uh, this is oat bran. Oat bran, And oat in. bran is the one that has the most power for lowering your cholesterol. Okay. And then we're going to use large oat flakes. They're sometimes called old-fashioned. Okay. But they're the big large ones, okay? So here, you can whisk that together. Gladly. And those are those are the three things that are going to actually lower your cholesterol. Now the next ingredient in is uh, flaxseed, and we want it to be ground. If it's not ground, it's called a laxative, which is, <laughs> hello, goodbye, see you next July, okay? okay? So we want it all ground up. And then the <laughs> next ingredient is whole wheat flour. Now whole wheat flour is not a whole grain because what they do is that they separate uh, the wheat germ out of it because the wheat germ has all the good stuff, which is the fat, okay. and which is the vitamin E, and most of all the, all the antioxidants. So we're gonna add it back in so this is now a whole grain. So that's the, the wheat germ is going back the in on itself. The wheat germ itself. is going okay. back in. Okay, then we're adding cinnamon because cinnamon is gonna help a lower how quickly the sugar in anything is going to be absorbed into your body. So it actually, it, it's, uh, it's really good if you're watching, you know, you're trying to reduce your chance of developing uh, type two diabetes. And then a little bit of, baking, uh, I think, I don't know if that's baking powder or baking soda. You can go to my website, MarilynSmith.com. Uh, we just renovated the, the site and the recipe's on there. Okay, so now Wait, the liquid, sorry. You keep going, I don't wanna ask about, I wanna ask about cinnamon there. So cinnamon, like, it's going to uh, make it so I don't absorb the sugar so fast. That's so right. So I'm fuller longer. That's uh, oh. not fuller longer, but you don't get the great big spikes Spiking in my... insulin and then the crash. Wow. And that's really good for you. Just okay? a little bit of okay. We're adding walnuts, which is omega-3. We're right. adding some chocolate because I love them. <laughs> and some dried cranberries, okay? okay? And that's all your dry ingredients. So basically, if you looked at it, that's kind of a, a big bowl of cereal, okay? Now we're going to add the liquid. Should be a bigger bowl. Yeah, I, you're really right. Good. It should be. Okay, here. Now give me the whisk and you can do it with that. Okay. Now we're going to use uh, three, uh, sorry, two omega-3 eggs. And then the next really important heart healthy ingredient is canola oil, yep. which we grow here in Canada. It's a quarter cup, always measuring in a glass we measuring cup. We grow it right cup. down the street for the record. Do you? Okay, yeah. well that's a really good thing. It's very heart healthy. It's got an omega-3 in it and I'm a big supporter of omega, omega-3s omega and canola. Okay, yeah. you said glass. Why glass? Why is well, that? because um, uh, for science, when you measure a liquid, it has to there's called a meniscus and it clings to the glass in a yeah, certain yeah. way. And if you do it in a dry, it goes like this and you're going to get too little. So it has to be in a glass measuring cup. So that it measures properly. Yep, you're right. Never using She's like a baby. scientist and a food expert. All in one. You know what? Uh, being a professional home economist, you know all this stuff, and I love being like superior bossy, right? Okay. So that was that no, baby really? food prunes. I hadn't noticed. Pure vanilla extract. Don't use if it's not pure. Forget about it. Brown sugar. It always needs to go in a measuring cup like hard this. Hard packed because you taught me last time. It's going to be hard did. packed. Hard packed, or it's not the right measure. You think I don't listen? Are we? You know what? I'm so impressed. That really dried out here. Okay. I remember, I remember one thing. Can I help? <laughs> no, you whisk. Okay. I wouldn't do whisk. this. All right. Oh dear lord. 
come out, come out. Where there you go? Put your okay, back good. into it. All right, so you're going to whisk that together. And mm -hmm. how much time do we have? Not much left. No, probably not. Okay, well, we're going to add that to that and form them up into uh, this kind of a shape. So they're pretty darn big and bake them in the oven. And then what I like to do is freeze them in little bags and take them for a grab and go. So you can go through Timmy, Timmy, Ho Timmy Hortons yeah, yeah. and, and take, have your own cookie. I get my and, own cookie. And get their, maybe their coffee with, with low fat milk and off you go. It's so it's, uh, so it's gonna be heart healthy. Heart healthy. It's gonna make sure I don't get that spike in my sugar. Exactly, and, and you got, and it's gonna lower your cholesterol. It's got everything all right in there. It's everything in a bowl. And it's all in Healthy Starts here, the yes. cookbook by best-selling author Marilyn Smith. Ta-da! Coming up, we're gonna make your ginger snaps. I specifically requested ginger snaps because they are <laughs> really good. But you're saying again, they're gonna be heart healthy for me? They're heart healthy. All right. So okay. Coming up on BT, I'm gonna dig into breakfast. Okay, minute. good. I'm coming up on it. BT, we've got your treat for you as well as Marilyn Smith makes us another cookie. This one also designed to be heart healthy. Cheers. Cheers. I, I beat you. That's okay, take a break. It's funny still to come on BT. Right. May with love and caring.